animals greatly affect the lives of people. For one, people use animals in many ways. Let us now discover how important animals are. Animals have been very important to other living things on earth. Here are some ways in which animals can help us. People cook the eggs from chickens, ducks, turkeys, and some birds. They also produce food items using materials from animals. Like for example, they turn the meat from animals into ham, bacon, and sausages. They use the milk of cows or goats to make cheese, yogurt, cream, butter, and ice cream. A lot of the things that you use are made using materials from animals. The fleece, which is a body covering of sheep, just like camels, goats, and rabbits, is used to make wool. It is a thick fabric that provides much warmth and it is made into clothing used for cold weather. The silkworm is the caterpillar of a certain type of moth. It is another animal that produces material for clothing and other items. The leather that was used to make your school shoes and bags may have come from the skin of animals like cows, goats, and crocodiles. Even with the invention of machines and other devices, animals remain to be a great help with the work people do. Elephants and buffaloes move heavy loads. Camels and donkeys transport people and goods. They are particularly helpful for traveling on narrow and unsafe mountain trails and paths. Horses pull carts and wagons. Trained dogs sniff out dangerous substances and bombs in places like airports. Other trained dogs serve as guides or eyes for blind people. Animals also make great pets for people. A pet is a tamed animal that is kept for companionship and treated with care. These animals bring so much joy to their owners, especially to those who are alone most of the time. Pet owners also tell of their delight at coming home to a welcoming pet. Animals have been a big help to people even thousands of years ago. They have contributed so much to making the lives of people better. If only for this reason, people should take good care of the animals in their environment. Here are some ways on how you can do this. Even if you have animal pets that you play with, you should still treat them gently and with respect. 
Do not push or kick them to force them to move. Do not pull on parts of their bodies such as their tails as these hurt them. When animals are hurt, they can also hurt you. Do not tease animals, especially those that do not know you. For example, do not throw stones or sticks at dogs on the streets or at the birds on trees. Do not also throw stones at nests, cages, and other animal shelters. Sometimes, small animals like bugs or butterflies get into your house. Do not kill them. Instead, ask an adult to try to get them out of the house. People who raise animals know the feeding schedules for these animals. If you have a pet, make sure to feed it at least twice a day. Note that some baby animals need to be fed more than twice a day. Provide your pet with enough clean, fresh water. Fill its feeding bowl with water at least twice a day. Whether your pet stays indoors or outside your home, provide it with a clean shelter. Regularly clean their shelters. If your pet lives in water, make sure to clean its tank or bowl at least once a week. Some animals like dogs need exercise to stay healthy. If you have a pet dog, walk with it at least every other day. People with dogs as pets should give them a bath once a month. Pet cats are to be bathed every two months. Other animals are washed and groomed following the advice of an animal doctor. Handle small and baby animals with much care. These animals have very soft bones and body parts that can be hurt if they are not handled gently. Do not touch or go near animals that do not know you. These include animals that you see in the streets or even in pet stores. They may feel threatened and hurt you. And, when animals are unwell, do not give them medicines intended for people. Instead, they should be taken to a veterinarian or an animal doctor. Okay then, grade 3. To check your understanding, look at its picture. Can you tell me how you could take care of these animals if you happen to adopt them?